Yes. I just wanted to share some thoughts with you at this crazy time in the world. And most people, I think, around the world, those people who have hearts, who have souls, who believe in life and love and light, are thinking about the people of Gaza right now. Women, children, and men, Palestinians. And when I think of them, I think of that great book written by Franz Kahn many years ago called The Wretched of the Earth. Because when you look at what's happening to them in what has been called an open air prison, in a place for which there is no escape. They truly are the wretched of the earth today. And they would be honored to know that, you know, people like you are thinking about them and their wretched condition that they're facing under Israeli colonialism Mm -hmm. and neo-colonialism. This is a call from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution, not Hanoi. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. They're wretched. Why? Because they're not free. Because the land of their mothers and fathers is not really their land. And even though there's a false statehood proposed for them, just because you call a state a state doesn't make it a state. Mm, yeah, that's right. They are in a state of being colonized, mm. of not being free, mm. of not being able to move, mm. of not being able to live a life of freedom mm. and dignity. Because their land is not their land because it's being taken inch by inch, yard by yard, mile by mile, Mm -hmm. every day. So, you know, we have to think of those things. And uh, this is not the kind of stuff that you'll hear on the six o'clock news Mm -hmm. or in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to go a little deeper. You have to study parts of their history. You have to study those who have studied them and other systems of colonialism around the world. You do that, then your eyes will be opened and you'll see something. And it will move you to do that which is right, which is to stand up on behalf this of the This is a call from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution, not Hanoi. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. When you stand with them, stand with simple human dignity and the highest aspiration of human beings, which is freedom. Mm -hmm. When you stand for them, you stand for freedom. When you stand with them, you stand for dignity. When you stand for them, you stand for a social transformation Mm -hmm. of what we have to what we must have, the change and how this world is organized. And when you stand with them, you stand against the empire. So, you know, a few days ago, I was talking and I said, I asked some young people just to use their mind and tell me what is the first thing that comes to their mind. And I will try the same with you, hoping you haven't heard my most recent piece, but if you have, it still stands. It still has worth because when you say the first thing in your mind, you're talking about something that has been placed in your mind, in your consciousness, 
and it will be there for the rest of your life. That question I asked several days ago was, for people like you to finish this simple sentence. The only good Indian don't be shy. Come on. What's the first thing that pops in your mind when you hear the only good Indian? Did you hear did you hear us? No, say it again, louder. It's a dead Indian. Okay, I, what that wasn't clear to me. Oh, we, we, I, I heard is is a dead Indian. There you go. Now think about this. Now, you know, I'm a little older than you guys. <laughs> I remember when I was a little boy, and he me and my brother strong. would be playing in the strong. street. Really? And we played cowboys and Indians. Right. Right. That's what we did back in the 50s and the 60s. Yep, yep. But guess what? Nobody wanted to be the Indian. Exactly. All of us wanted to be cowboys. Little black cowboys. Mm. And the ghetto of North Philly. <laughs> I wanted right. to be Indian. We and you know, we have been conditioned. We didn't know it. We watched John uh, Wayne movies and most of you don't even know who John Wayne is. But we watched those movies and they seemed into our heads. And all these years later, when I asked that question, and none of you, most of you were not alive back then, but when I asked that question, you know the answer, which means it is still in consciousness. Somewhere you got that message and it's stuck in your brain. Now, imagine what Israelis think of when they say the only good Palestinian. And you'll get some sense of how Palestinians are regarded in that uh, in that uh, country, mm -hmm. I think of them as the Navajo and uh, the Apaches mm -hmm. of the American seeded colony mm -hmm. of Israel, and they are not free. You know, they don't live in reservations, but they live in an open air prison. What's the first thing that? Benjamin Yedinahu said after the events of October 7th, he said, we will cut off their water. We will cut off their electricity. He said, nothing will get into Gaza. And he said, we will, we will exact a penalty on them that will be remembered for generations. That's what he said. Yes, 